All right, guys, welcome back to the free-to-play adventures of Kill and Friends. It's Ali Plays, and uh, yeah, let's get started. So we are on hard mode now in campaign. In the last episode, we cleared uh, normal mode. So I already cleared uh, Korok's castle, and now we're on the sewers of Arnok. So let's go ahead. And also yesterday, we got uh, Jizo. So I'm going to be working on him. <clears throat> I feel like he's uh, he's capable of soloing campaign if you can get him up to six stars i'd rather do that with kale because he's more useful yeah so we'll go with kale jizo uh yeah this guy too seducer forgot he's our new leader and uh yeah let's go soros get him level 40. unfortunately our experience boost uh, ran out so i have turned down the resolution so that uh, the gameplay is less choppy and i tried downloading nox but nox seems like it's like even worse Yeah, so things seem much easier so far, but when we get uh, closer to stage 11 and 12, it's going to be even harder. And we're getting better artifacts, so that's good. Go stage 3. So the set that I used on Jizo is a retaliation set. <clears throat> so it's not that good. It only gives him a 25% chance to counter. But they were the set that I got from logging in for the seven days for Jizo. So I just threw them on him. I think they were pretty pretty good, like four star or five star. I think they're four stars. Oh. We got this guy. Is that Skull Sworn? Yeah, Skull Sworn. Okay, now we're on round three out of three. There we go. Oh, current rate percentage primary gloves, that's good. So we're gonna try to make this video like 15 minutes. Uh, we'll try to clear as much as we can in 15 minutes. Cause I think the last video went on too long. <laughs> Because I was uh, upgrading uh, Seducer's equipment, finding some good artifacts for him. Well, not good, like the ones that, like ones that I actually had that are viable. Oh, four stars. Attack percentage and crit rate as a substat, that's good. Okay, stage six. I feel like we can run spiders then. I don't know. If I switch stars as artifacts. Uh put in sister melt. I think my sister melt is still three stars, so maybe not a good idea. And also I don't have a Zephyr sniper yet. Yeah, so things are very pretty easy. Mr. Shard next. Uh, we're on boss stage now.
Oh, Soros actually did something. All right, boss stage. Let's see what we can do. Okay, put him to sleep. Let's kill him. Yeah, so you guys let me know uh, if you guys feel like the gameplay is less choppy. Uh, let me know down in the comment section. I'll keep the settings like this. If they are good. For me, they feel like they're better. Everything seems much more smooth. Okay, so we're going to sell this because it's just a uh, base attack set. Alright, so now we're on stage. I mean, not stage. We're on the next uh, map. Also, we have 450 gems now, so we're pretty close to... I don't know, if, should I go for the mines? So you guys let me know if I should go for the mines or... Um, if I should go for the mines or sh if I should go for... Uh, save it up for Ancient Shards. <laughs> and we can have a mini summoning session. It'll be fun. I'm leaning more towards the summoning session. Yeah, so you guys let me know in the comment section. Maybe we can pull some legendaries. Or some good epics. Okay, so round three out of three. So the enemies are level 33 now. All right, one more. There we go. So um, we're gonna clear this, uh, the catacombs of Narbuck, we're gonna clear, their, clear these, right? But offline, I'm gonna be doing, uh, I'm gonna farm some equipment for uh, Seducer from here. Cause at least I can get four star equipment now. So we'll be doing that, and then when we reach speed, I'll farm some speed for him as well. But I hate that whole experience boost thing, because I don't play it like at my uh, this account as much as the other one. So my experience boost runs out. It's only 24 hours, so I only use it for a couple hours, and then I go to my main account because I have stuff to do there. I'm working on uh, some videos. Um, Dark Aethel. That's one of the videos I'm working on. So I'm going to show some gameplay, uh, Spider's Den. Um, maybe some campaign. She's not very good in campaign. Uh, just to let you guys know. And then um, another character, Zephyr Sniper. Yeah, I'm working on those. I'll do a guide on them. Okay, so let me, guys, let me know if you guys are excited for that. Dark Aethel Zephyr Sniper and let me know if there's any other characters that you would like me to work on so I can do a, a in-depth guy slash review on the character. I feel like they're going to do another tournament after the one that just ended. The disappointing tournament. <laughs> yeah, they're probably going to do another one. Hopefully it's an arena one, same as before. Because you get free medals from facing uh, the content creators. And their teams are pretty easy. Uh, not all of them, but most of them. Most of them, most of the teams are pretty easy from the content creators. Yeah, but if they put me on there, <laughs> my team's going to give you guys some trouble. <laughs> Well, not for this account, the other account. I have a new team. Yeah, I yeah I have a new team on my uh, main account. So let me know if you guys want to see it. Showcase my arena team. Yeah, usually I just go into the content creators. Click auto, I get free medals. 
You don't get to rank up. I think you need to get it once if you face them only once. I mean, it's the first time facing them. And then after that, every time they refresh, there will, be as a con there will always be a content creator up top. So you can click on that and then you can get free uh, medals. So you can upgrade your great hall bonuses on there. Also, I noticed that a lot of you guys uh, try not to move up in arena. I would actually recommend that you do because the, I think the bronze and silver medals are not, they're not as good as the gold. Cause you're going to need uh, way more bronze and silvers to uh, equal the value of the gold. So it's going to take you even longer to get the great haul bonuses. And yeah, that will make it longer for you to get Arbiter if you guys ever get to that level. Because uh, I'm at a point right now where I need uh, two level six upgrades in my great hall. I have one of them ready and I think each of them costs like 300 gold. So I can't imagine how much it costs for the bronze and the silver. So I'll recommend you guys actually try and get up. I know it's kind of hard to get up because of uh, there's like a lot of uh, like I've seen like in my account this account I've seen a lot of legendaries in bronze, so silver is probably much harder too. So we're gonna sell this one. Okay, so stage six now. Yeah, so we're just gonna clear uh, this stage, and the, no, I mean clear the boss stage, and then uh, yeah, we'll see how much time we have left. We should be close to the 15 minute mark now. Also, if you guys know of any uncommon champions that are hidden gems, let me know. Um, I mean, I know that there are some, like, Tracker, I think. That's her name. She's like a clan boss uh, hidden gem for uncommons. Same with that one monk, but a lot of people know about that already. And uh, Zephyr Sniper. Uh, who else? Shield Guard. Characters like that. So if you guys uh, know any of other hidden gems, uh, let me know. And I will uh, check them out. Oh yeah, also Soros. How can I forget Soros? He's right here. Alright, we're on the boss stage now. So I just looked at the recording, so we're on uh, 15 minutes in. So after this, um, we'll probably end the video. Man, I hate round two the most. Because I use all my AoEs in the beginning. First wave, done quickly. Second wave takes a while because they're on cooldown. And then the third wave is uh, it's pretty easy. Well, that's a lot of damage, Kale. Yeah, Soros always dies. I gotta get him better uh, artifacts. Oh right, so we got a trash uh, shield. We're gonna get rid of that. Yeah, now I got one level up here. It's getting harder to level up because no experience boost. How far away are we from experience boost? So we got 30 gems. Let's go find that out first. Oh, we are. Uh, if you get 45 stars, we get three day experience boost. So that's a thing. Uh, let's see for quest. I know I checked in the last video, but let's see today. So weekly, if we finish today's weeklies, we'll be at four. So uh, one more day. So tomorrow we'll be able to get an experience boost. Uh, let's see if we can summon some champions. We have five. So we'll do this last summoning right here. Because I got to summon three anyways. So we got Uncommon. We got Herald. It looks like Thrall. Hopefully we get Zephyr Sniper. Let's go. 
Yoman. I don't know if I'm not pronouncing that properly. Come on, man. Dude, I swear this guy's this guy's a common, not uncommon. Okay, two more. We increase slots. Let's get it. Oops. Okay, so we have no more slots. <laughs> that was pretty funny. So, well, at least we got our uh, mission done. Yeah, let's finish these two. Uh, let's go upgrade four artifacts. Let's go for the weapon and get more damage. So what am I going to do in four upgrades? That's one. Hopefully we can get in four. Two. Three. Come on. What the heck? You guys saw that, right? It lagged. Okay, so we did get it in five. And do we have any bruise? No, we don't. Well, you know we can do this easily. You go down. Also, I got this guy, Elder. He's not that good. Uh, he's very bad. So let's go down. Uh, level up one of the uh, common champions. And then we should be able to complete that. There we go. That's how you finish your dailies. And that will give us 10 gems. Plus 400 experience. And one more day away. Oh, we also get an ancient shard. And we're at 47% of uh, to level 50, to level 30, not level 50. All right, guys. So that's it for the video. If you found this video entertaining, or if you just like it, uh, drop. Don't forget to drop a like. Also, if you guys are new to the channel and you like Ray Shadow Legends, uh, I make content almost every day. Consider subscribing. And as always, I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.